my channel um i'm paula and it's my birthday weekend Yay! so anyway uh in this video i'm gonna show you how i got these cute curls on my wig um using foil paper and also since it's my birthday i wanted to share some love and say thank you to everyone who's been subscribed to me following me on my blog on my page on facebook we just got 500 likes and I really really appreciate your support and your comments because the whole point of me sharing what I know is to teach others because I didn't know and someone taught me so I wanted to also continue to teach so with that being said I'm gonna do a giveaway um, first thing I'm gonna give away is this Cantu starter pack it retails for about 300 rand here in South Africa and that's what I'm going to give away and secondly I'm going to give away one of these conditioning caps right exciting stuff so anyway um, I will give you the details of what to do how to enter how you can win and uh, yeah let's continue with this video so you can see my my dope, dope hair. <laughs> Thanks. I started off with freshly washed hair <laughs> on my wig. Um, and I pinned the hair down onto my mannequin, which I had to make a plan to make it stay. Okay. Depending on how big or small you want your curls to be, you can choose whatever width or yeah, whatever width you want to work with. I used medium sized lens to work with and you start off by twisting the end of the head on your finger, slip it off and then start rolling. Either you can roll it sideways or you can roll it up from the bottom going up. It was so much easier for me to do it sideways because it would then twist the root of the hair to leave it to um, stay in place and not like come off at the bottom. So when you've done that, you just pin the curl. You have to keep the curl in place. You place the foil paper on the bottom, pin it again and then cover from the top. And then you make a fold from the sides as well. And then you just want to pinch at the root so that that foil paper stays in place. I'm going to show you the two different ways of uh, doing the pin curls. Like I said, you can either roll from the bottom going up or you can roll from the side. It's so much easier if you do it by the side, but I found myself alternating between the two different techniques. Like I wasn't being strict or whatever, but 
that's how I managed to do it. Another thing that I also noticed when I was doing this is that it's a lot quicker if you start from halfway through the length of the hair instead of starting right at the end of the hair. So start from midway and then roll up. It will make your life so much easier. This was the most exciting part. I've been waiting to do this. Um, you just heat up your straightener and I can't tell you how hot the straightener is because it's my sister's one and secondly it the, you can't change the heat setting it just comes as it is so as long as it's hot the heat from the straightener will transfer onto the foil paper and then that uh, the foil paper acts as a retainer to keep the heat in and then the hair will also curl because of the heat from the foil paper So these were my results and this was my very first time ever doing this and actually filming it. Um, so I was really excited about the curls, they came out really nice and cute. Um, I also didn't want to destroy them too much, uh, I just wanted to leave them as they were and they really lasted me the whole day which I loved. So for you to win this giveaway, you have to share the post on Facebook, comment happy birthday on my Instagram page, as well as follow me and comment happy birthday on this video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck.